Great. Can you introduce yourself to our side visitors? Hey, I'm Marinos and I play guitar. And I'm Andy and I'm the lead singer of Faded to the Sharks. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining me here at Mayhem. How are you guys enjoying the tour so far? It's amazing. I mean, like, you grow up watching tours and watching festivals and stuff like that. And to be on it for, especially for our first time in America, is like incredible. You know, you can't ask for anything more for your first tour. So it's been the best. It's been awesome, yeah. I mean, we didn't know what to expect our first tour, as Marinos said, but um, the kids have been going crazy and the response has been overwhelming so far. So, um, yeah, we've just like been hitting each show one at a time and um, it's been a blast. So what kind of lessons are you guys picking up along the way? I'm sure that there's going to be knowledge you're going to take with you after all this. Yeah, I mean, dealing with the heat here is one thing. Like Get as much sleep as possible. Yeah. Get as much sleep. Sleep when you can. Yeah. Sleep in a drain, whatever. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah, I mean, sleep and staying out of the heat is definitely the two big things for like a summer American festival. It's just been, Albuquerque was like ridiculous. It was... 100 yeah. degrees. Though. Yeah, the road was melting. Even today is really bad, you know, so, I mean, even compared to Australia, which is meant to be hot and dry, I mean, this is pretty bad. I just got back from San Diego and I came into this and I was like... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty gross. So, but, you know, we're learning to deal with it. It's good. Mm. Here, what are you guys working on right now? Um, well, we've got a few tours coming up, um, so we're focusing a lot of our, you know, time towards getting that better, doing more production and stuff like that. Um, you know, we've started writing a little bit, but we're still very much on the tour cycle of Fortitude. So, um, yeah, we'd like to kind of push that a bit more, come back to America, to Europe again. So, yeah, that's um, that's our main focus at the moment. It was only released a couple of months ago, the record, so we're just like, yeah, we just want to tour as much as we can, and uh, we're like a very new band over here. Obviously, it's the first time we've been here, so we just want to keep hitting the places back if we can, and um, yeah, just go from there. So, you know, being on Mayhem and everything, are you guys seeing social media numbers kind of jump around as more and more people are beginning to learn about the band? Because obviously, that's like the newest tool and the easiest way for bands to promote now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, we've noticed like fans like putting stuff on their wall, posting pictures. I mean, we're signing every day and all that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, like people are just coming up, and I don't know the response has been awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely grown. Like you see the numbers go up, and you can watch the insights. Like America's kind of taking charge, which is good. It's good to know that like hard work is paying off um, in terms of promotion and, and um, getting new fans and stuff like that. So. Yeah, it's been great. So can we talk about the band name a little bit and, and where that came from? I mean, yeah, yeah. I, ask any question you yeah. like. Ask any question you like. It's just how could that, how could that people get disappointed that? sometimes when we ask, uh, yeah. when we say this because it didn't actually feed anyone to sharks. Yeah, like I mean, yeah, expecting a, an epic story. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like we should make something up about like <laughs> yeah, epic. Like the Wikipedia rumor. Yeah, yeah like yeah, there used to be a, a girl singer and um, she just wasn't yeah, cutting she it. Make the cuts. And he just jetty, straight in. We'll go with that from now on. Yeah, we'll just go from that. How popular are sharks now in pop culture? So, I mean, you guys have truly the perfect name right now. Yeah, it's it's um, it suits our Aussie, yeah. Aussie sort of background as well. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. We'll, sharks in Australia. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's good. It's like the band's been around like five years almost. So maybe it was like a good thing. Right now it's kind of blowing up. Everyone's loving sharks. I'm all about Sharknado. I just watched it yesterday, so I'm like, figure to the sharks today. Three. Three, three. What? Yeah. Really? Okay. Figure to the sharks needs to be up on Sharknado. Yeah. <laughs> Who did the third Sharknado? Was it Spielberg? Or? <laughs> 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 Who did, who's Peter in it? Jackson, who's like, I think. It's I. <laughs> did it have John and Depp? PJ. Johnny Depp was my character. What sort of characters are we talking? Uh, what's it's the, like, it's it? Iron Zeering. It's the same cast. Exactly like, the same. Yeah. So and does dodge. the same thing happen? Just a tornado with sharks? Yeah. Oh. There's nothing different. So it's not sent me socks with shark like, I was impressed. <laughs> they really, they really want you to watch that movie. Yeah. yeah. I did. <laughs> if if wow. they send you socks, you know there's something wrong. There's yeah. something wrong there. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't get Avatar socks, you know, uh, when I went well, to Well, yeah, what happened there? It must be like, you got ripped. Yeah, I got ripped. Yeah. You guys need to do a song for Shark Man. I know, I'd, I'd love to. <laughs> I reckon we'd kill it as well. Oh, like. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So if you had to list one thing that was misunderstood about the band, is there anything that people tend to get wrong that you're finding? 
Uh, know, people hear the name and they're like, oh, some people that have not heard it before at all, and they're like, oh, feed it to the sharks. You know what I mean? There's people have opinions about the name straight away. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not like a real subtle name or whatever. It's kind of like in your face. It may offend some people. You know what I mean? We're not that sort of people, but you know, like just judging you know, bands on their name, some people just do that straight off the bat. Yeah. So we just encourage people to just, you know, just take the name for what it is mm. and know where we come from and just come see a live show and, um, you know, yeah. make, you know, judge us then, you know. That's, yeah. Yeah. Can you talk about the recording process for the album, maybe one or two songs in particular and tell me what the mindset was like when you were putting it together? Yeah. Um, I mean, in, turn of, in terms of recording, we went back to Sweden uh, with Frederick Nordstrom. Uh, we've done the last three albums with him. Um, and I mean that's always amazing like you're there you sleep there for five weeks like you, you're recording every day Did that become a character too sort of um, you know like the environment that you're yeah, in well, it's kind of like being on tour it's like you're away from home you're doing a job um, you know you, you're getting what you need to do done I mean there's always downtime and everything like that but um, yeah so in terms of recording um, all the songs and stuff are done with him um, I guess mindset, like the whole album in general has a kind of a more positive vibe and in terms of like following, following your dreams kind of, because I mean we're from Australia, we're like five dudes and like we're on the other side of the world playing shows so it's like, it's pretty amazing just to be here so it's really about kind of, you know, um, taking all the chances you can get um, to and you know really being passionate with what you love. We spent a good eight months maybe writing it in Australia, you know, we spent yeah. like a fair bit of time doing it and uh, really took our time with the tracks just to make sure they were how we wanted them and it turned out, you know, really well and we got fans like, you know, mailing us and, you know, with heaps of good feedback and so it really means a lot, you know. Mm. So. What's that scene like in Australia? I mean, I hear like a lot of bands come out of there and you guys get some pretty good festivals down there too, so. I mean, like all the bands that come out of there, that's like 2% of the bands in Australia. It's the scene is a bit flooded, I think. Like, there's a lot of bands, and it's just, it's a big country, but we're all kind of shoved into. Well, there's five probably a lot bands. we haven't even heard about. Absolutely, like, and there's a lot of great bands from Australia, heaps. But it's, I think it's, I think it's one of the toughest. Like, just from playing here and playing Europe and stuff like that, it's like you really got to um, make a name for yourself and. It's sometimes a little bit clicky in that respect, but... Um, Is there ever jealousy when a band does manage to kind of break out of that? <laughs> it, I don't know if it's really, jealousy. Really like that, but there's it's there's more, just a lot of bands trying to make it. And yeah. There's only so many cities in Australia that you can play shows. Yeah. So you've got all these bands flooding in, trying to make a name for themselves. And we don't have the luxury of, like, the States, for example. Yeah. You've got so many venues, you know. And you can it's drive three hours a huge area. You, state, you, you know? can do that in Australia. Like, there's not many venues. So you really need to be... You need to turn head straight away. You need to make your mark straight away, you know, so, yeah. It's tough, to I think. Uh, yeah. You see American bands going over there and sometimes it'll be massive, sometimes they'll play to 200 people, mm. so it's like, it's, yeah, it's, I think it's one of the toughest. Mm. So what is the rest of 2015 Holden Store? What are the plans for After Mayhem? Uh, a couple of Australian tours. We're touring with our friends Die Out Is Murder, who are on the tour. Um, we just did Europe with them as well, so it's kind of, mini world tour which is pretty cool <laughs> um, I like it yeah. and then after that we got another Australia tour with uh, Nile and Unearth um, from here so that, that'll be fun and then yeah trying to get back over to the States booking shows here doing Europe again it's just we want to keep the touring cycle going thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes to speak with me I appreciate it thank you <laughs>